Hello everyone and welcome to another video. As you guys know, 1.2 has finally been released in Minecraft for both editions such as Java and Bedrock. And with that, we've gotten this new biome known as the Cherry Blossom Biome. But that's not what we're here to talk about. As you guys have probably seen from behind me, there's a new mob in the game, the Sniffer. Now, what this mob does is it actually allows you to get two of the most coolest plants that you'll ever see. The sniffer itself will either sniff out torch flower seeds or the pitcher pot seed. And when they fully grow up, you'll get these two cool plants. This is the pitcher pot and this is the torch flower. Uh, the torch flower seeds are actually used to breed these guys. Now, if you're lucky like me, you can have access to a warm ocean biome like, like this. And what you guys want to do is find a warm ocean ruin like this. As you guys see, it does blend in with the ground, so it will be a little hard to find. But once you're here, you can find something called Suspicious Sand. And if you're lucky enough, it will give you a sniffer egg. When you do get them, you can just place it down and then wait about 40 minutes for it to hatch and become a full adult. Now, sadly, guys, this will take a long time. There's only a 6% chance of finding them and you need to have two for this to work. So we need to make a farm that can easily use these guys to their greatest ability to find some torch flower seeds for us to use. Hey guys, before I get into the tutorial, YouTube's bet me that you guys won't be able to subscribe faster than this guy will be able to get to that tree. I hope you guys can easily hit that subscribe button. It costs nothing and it truly does help me a lot. I am trying to get to over a thousand by the end of the summer. And yeah, looks like that's about all the time. See, even he's happy that you guys have subscribed. Okay, that's that. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, to start this build, what you guys need to have is you need to have about 64 rails along with 24 rails, 12 powered rails, one minecart with hopper, at least two hoppers, two chests, four levers, 64 grass blocks, or and an additional 36. Now, these blocks here are your diggable blocks. You can either use moss, mud, uh, any of the dirt blocks, and I believe gravel. I do not know about sand. I wouldn't trust that fully. But I do want to point out that I would suggest using moss because if you put one moss block down, you can just bone meal the rest of it on any other block. And it also helps with growing your sniffers. You are also going to need about 64 and 16 glass blocks. This is for your outer wall. You can also use normal blocks. It doesn't really matter. And two sniffer eggs. Now, the reason why I say two sniffers is because you have to start breeding them at one point as well. But to start off, you do need two sniffer eggs. This is going to be the hardest part of this entire thing. All right, guys, to start this off, what you guys want to do is make sure you guys have a 10 by 10 area like so. This is going to be where your collection system is with your rail car and hopper system. So right now, guys, all you need are the items that I have in my hand. So what you guys first want to do is start off by placing two chests like so. Then break these blocks here and then have two hoppers here. And you can extend this further if you guys want, but two is the minimum. I'll just quickly go into survival and show you guys. So starting from this side, what you guys want to do is put down some rails on the front like so. And then what you guys want to do is from here, put two blocks down, three rails, and try and aim for this to be in the middle. As you guys see, I kind of overshot it, I think. Well, you can't get it exactly in the middle, but then you can just go on and place down two sets of rails like so. And then just matching it up again on this side. Place the blocks like this. And keep going until you get to the end. And finishing off with the powered rails here, and then we can connect it up like a so. You then want to get underneath and on each of the blocks that carry on the redstone. So we know one's going to be here. As you see, it's activated. And then every two blocks, put down another lever. So we have one, two, lever. One, two, lever. One, two, and the final lever. As you guys see, all rails are now powered up. You can then go and just put your minecart on top and you should see it start to work. While you're also at it, I would suggest to just cover this up like so, so that nothing really gets in the way of it and it still has a clean look. Once you've built up about two blocks up, what you guys wanna do 
is using your diggable blocks just fill it on fill in a entire thing now i would suggest that once you do get in the middle you do put some moss blocks down because right when you start off you do want these guys to start growing fast now the minute you put down these sniffer eggs on top of a moss block you have 10 minutes to finish this so you want to move a little fast so starting off what you guys want to do is just make a little glass perimeter Now, since this is done, this is pretty much all you guys have to do, but I would suggest you guys to do a couple more things. First, just throw in some slabs on the top so mobs can't spawn. I would also suggest to put a lightning rod somewhere nearby so that if lightning does ever happen, these guys will stay safe. Now, just for the sake of time, let's just say it's been 10 minutes. You now have two sniffers. What you guys want to do is after they take a while, I'm not going to lie, this will take a while, guys. You guys want to have two torch flower seeds. Then you just click on them and then they can breed. And then you can start your production, your uh, sniffer eggs. As you guys see, I will have three now. Now, what you guys do want to aim for is around, at minimum, eight sniffers. With eight sniffers, you should be able to get about one torch flower per minute. Now, the most you want to have in here are about 15. If you want to have more, you guys do have to extend this and then your supplies are going to be a little bit more. Now, as you guys see, these guys all are already sniffing the areas. When they lie down, that means that they're sniffing like this guy and this guy here. And if I check in here, you can already see that we've already gotten a lot of supplies. The reason why I say that there is a limit to how many you want in here is because you do want them to be able to move around. Like I said, guys, they do need to be able to sniff at least 21 blocks for this to work at its maximum capacity. We do have 15 in here, but I do think you could get away with maybe 17. And as you see, we're already moving very fast. I would suggest you guys to build this somewhere far away as, you know, these guys do make that annoying sound. But guys, that's about it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like my skin, by the way, um, let me know. This is from Java Edition. Got a little skin. Look at my... I made this all by myself. Look at that. Oh, it's looking nice. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys liked it, subscribe. Uh, I'll try to do more helpful stuff with this new 1.20 update. Thank you guys again. This has been your boy GP. Take care. Stay safe. Peace.